Hello everyone. Today's video we're going to be uh, teaching you how to set up a fresh vinegar eel culture from uh, a starter that you will receive from us at fancyguppies.net. Uh, the main ingredients you're going to need is uh, apple cider vinegar. I just buy mine by the gallon at Walmart. It's pretty inexpensive, a couple bucks for the gallon. Uh, an apple. Um, and, and any apple will do. Uh, red, yellow, I haven't used the green ones but I would imagine they'll work just the same. Uh, that is one of our uh, starters. That's just the way you'll get it from us. It's a piece of filter floss material uh, and it's soaked uh, with vinegar eels and there's also still a little bit of liquid uh, in here as well from, from the culture, the main mother culture. Um, okay, and um, a culturing vessel. Uh, I use the half gallon pickle jars. They're actually uh, a little more than a half a gallon. They're 80 out fluid ounces, so um, just a little bit more, but that's fine. We only use about a half a gallon of liquid. Um, and that's about it. I'll go ahead and show you the steps on uh, uh, what to do when you receive your, your starter. Uh, our cameraman from the rest of this video is going to be Joey. Say hi, Joey. Hi. Okay. Here we go. Okay, like I said, um, you'll receive your starter culture from us like this in a little Ziploc bag. It's a piece of filter floss material that I let soak overnight uh, in a mother culture and it soaks up all the little vinegar eels. Uh, I also add a little bit of liquid in there as well. That's going to be full of vinegar eels. Um, so we're going to set this aside because we won't need that until last. Um, you're going to need your culturing vessel. Again, like I said, this is a half gallon size culturing vessel. Um, first thing you're going to do is you take your apple cider vinegar and you mix it at a ratio of one to one. Uh, one part's just regular old tap water and the other half uh, one part apple cider vinegar. Uh, I've already pre-mixed this 50-50 and same with this here. This is also already just a 50-50 mix. Uh, I just keep them on hand that way if I just need to top off for evaporation or if I take out too much uh, from, uh, you know, uh, from harvesting, I just top off with, with this and don't have to worry about mixing. Um, so the first thing we're going to need is, is an apple. Um, Usually you want to peel the apple first because sometimes there's pesticides or chemicals on the skin that are going to be harmful to our eels. So um, we will peel the apple real quick. You only need about a half of an apple um, per half gallon culture. So if you're going to do, you know, like a wine bottle, which is 32 ounces, uh, then you can use a quarter of an apple. If you're going to do uh, one gallon size, then you can use a full apple. Um, so I will peel about half this apple. And that looks about right. It doesn't have to be exact. The apple just produces uh, uh, or gives food for the bacteria that the uh, Worms are going, I mean, uh, vinegar eels are going to eat. Um, just take the rest of that skin off there. And that's about it. We've got a peeled half apple. Whoops. That goes right into our culture, just like that. Uh, into that, we're going to add a half a gallon of 50 50 mix water and apple cider vinegar. I fill it up just below the curvature of the glass. So we're going to need a little more than that. And as I said, this is already pre-mixed 50-50. So uh, I have seen people use just straight apple cider vinegar, but um, this works just fine and it saves money. So that's about right. It's just below the curvature of our, of our vessel. The apple will float for a couple of days. After that, it'll sink down to the bottom and it will be out of your way the rest of the time. You may notice 
um, some sediment uh, building up inside your culture uh, over time, that's not going to be a problem either. Um, about every um, two to maybe three months, you're going to want to uh, refresh your apple. And um, that's really about it. Uh, if, if you're making subcultures, uh, I would suggest, you know, always keep two cultures going at, uh, at all times, just in case one crashes. Um, and uh, if you're going to subculture from, from a mother culture like this, uh, all you need to do is just take out a little bit of liquid out of this and set up another container just like we just did and just pour off a little bit of the, uh, the contents into your new culture. Um, I start a new one about every month and about every two to three months I refresh the apple and the old one and uh, I will also dump out about half the liquid and put fresh 50-50 uh, mix in there. Uh, almost like a water change for your, for your fish. Uh, so here's our starter, just like you would get it from us. Um, basically, uh, you just take this out of the package and you can just swish it off real good inside your culture. Or you can just leave it in there for a few days and then fish it out later with a pair of tongs or something. I like to leave it in there. Uh, that allows all the, the worms to come out pour off any liquid that's in there and that is almost it uh, I like to take mine I just take the coffee filter just regular standard coffee filter and cover the top of it up you can use a rubber band or I have a few girls here so we just use old hair ties um, and that's it that'll prevent any bugs or flies from getting in there and um, it takes about three weeks to a month before the vinegar eels are to the population where you can go ahead and start harvesting um, and that's really about it just set this in a dark place I keep them under the bathroom sink cabinet um, and that's about it. Uh, like I said, just in about uh, maybe two or three days, you can go ahead and take out that filter floss material that's in there if you choose to leave it in. And you're set. If you guys have any questions, um, you can e email me at uh, www.fancyguppies.net. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching.